President Joe Biden faced severe criticism for his performance during a Zoom call with moderate D.C. Democrats that took place just before the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. The call, described as disastrous and even worse than the debate, raised concerns about Biden's ability to lead his campaign effectively among moderate Democrats who already are nervous about the president's cognitive abilities. Participants on the call anonymously revealed that Biden appeared unfocused and gave incoherent responses to questions. One attendee stated, he was rambling, he'd start an answer then lose his train of thought, then would just say whatever. I lost a ton of respect for him. Others echoed these sentiments, with another individual confirming the poor performance. The Congress member claimed the president was rambling, dismissive of concerns, unable or unprepared to present a campaign strategy, and had a particularly troubling exchange with Jason Crow, saying to him, tell me something you've never done with your bronze star like my son. They added, had the assassination attempt not occurred an hour later, I imagine 50 people on that Zoom were ready to come out publicly against him. The timing of the Zoom call coincided with growing pressure on Biden to address questions regarding his mental acuity and age. Calls for him to step down from the race are gaining momentum from both elected Democrats and the media. However, the attempted assassination of Trump and the commencement of the Republican National Convention has shifted the political focus away from Biden momentarily. As OK previously reported, hours after former President Trump was shot in Pennsylvania, Biden penned a statement on X formerly known as Twitter. I've been briefed on the shooting at Donald Trump's rally. I'm grateful to hear that he's safe and doing well. I'm praying for him and his family and for all those who were at the rally as we await further information, he said. Jill and I are grateful to the Secret Service for getting him to safety, he continued. There's no place for this kind of violence in America. We must unite as one nation to condemn it. Fox News provided quotes and sources used in this article.